but I feel the energy changing. I feel things happening on on her inside, you know, it within her. And there's massive changes going on, you know. Um, and so even though the outside is still looking like this kind of disheveled person who's dysregulated and, you know, bothered by all these energetic changes and waves and other people's energy, there's something inside that's telling me, no, it's not the same anymore. The outside, the behavior, the routine and stuff might look the same, but inside there's something different happening there's we're right there you know like you know we're right at the finish line it's like okay we have to you know really uh stay in that neutrality stay centered um stay connected uh and, and feel this heaven that's coming through us now you know if you kind of remember I mean, you may or may not remember and that's okay but um I had talked about maybe a couple of years ago uh, about the this guy Neil Douglas Klotz, I think his name was. He wrote the Aramaic Jesus book, you know, and his from the Aramaic language in translating the um, uh, the Lord's Prayer, you know, uh, it, ha it has a different kind of flavor to it. And so, um, from what I remember, his his interpretation, you know, again, it's my interpretation of his interpretation, but essentially that the Lord's Prayer was about um, staying connected, staying connected, and reminding ourselves every day that the reality is the heaven where we, where we originally are from, you know, and this this is the reality, and so we connect with that, bring it in to our beingness every day to remember that um and that's what it's all about and that's how we create again that sense of heaven on earth that it's our inner world that creates the outer world and it's it's not the outer world that you know dictates what reality is and this is what we've been used to is the outer world telling us how things are and what reality is um and so that phrase of on earth as it is in heaven, you know, give us this day our daily bread, you know, the nourishment of that spirit, the greater spirit uh, that we're, we're always connected to, you know, and so um, that's the idea of we're right at the finish line. We're like, you know, and does that mean tomorrow, next year? You know, I, I'm hoping not more than next year or two years from now, you know, I don't know, but um, uh, but we're, we're right there. And so the, the something inside me, you know, like I said, even as crazy as Sammy, Sammy might look on the outside still at times, like you can say, oh, nothing's changed. But um, this, just this tremendous feeling inside that say, no, there is a lot changing. There's a lot change. There's a lot happening on the inside of her, you know. And um, this spiritual aspect that comes, uh, that animates the body of who we are is just a step, one step in embodiment, you know? And there seems to be many other steps to that uh, as I'm witnessing, especially with this eight, the, al the alchemy of the eight and what it's doing to polarity in our bodies, the physical body um and so becoming easier than to to hold this uh spirit within us and then that will translate into our changes you know and it may be with our own change first you know and our own um the reality that's ar immediately around us first you know but then as more people are able to um uh i guess i don't know if surrender is the right word but it's more like just just being it where it's just easy you don't have to think so hard about surrendering because that overwhelming sense within uh is just getting stronger and stronger to um you know not believe that what's on the outside is the reality